Hey, in this video, I'm going to talk about layer span. Why is this panel so important for us? Well, here we can see the whole structure of our web page. As you can see down below, I can see the list of my elements which are placed on my web page. Through here, I can easily access them, reorder them, add them some additional settings and add more elements precisely. As you can see, my web page is already completed and this is how my structure looks like. In a few seconds, I'll make a new project and I'll show you how can you make your structure from scratch. Right in front of me, I have made a new project and as you can see, my structure is completely empty. Now, how, how can I add some elements to my project? First of all, I need to select my body element and I can add elements in two different ways. First one is to go to this navbar here and quickly add elements on the left click or go Ctrl E on the keyboard and this search bar will appear. Right here you can type the name of elements you want to add. Let's go with the section. Now when I hit enter my section will be placed right inside of my body element. Let's add some elements in a different way. Let's go and hover over this div item here and you will see that more items is shown. Now, let's left click on this container here and you will see that my container is placed right inside of my section. Now, let's add even more elements. Let's add two divs for the example. Now, you can notice that these divs have exact same name and yes, when you have more elements it will be a bit harder to navigate through your layers. How can we change this? We can just select our element, go right click on it and in the label field you can change its name. You can type anything you want. For example, let's go with the wrapper for this one. And let's change this one as well and I'll name it background. Now, it's a bit easier to navigate through my layers. How can I reorder my elements? Well, I can just select my, my element, left click and hold onto it and I can just pull it above my element and as you can see, they are reordered. I can pull it out of my parent element, in this example container and section and you can notice now my background element is outside of section. If you want to pull it back inside, you can just click hold and pull it back inside. You will notice that my background element is right inside my container. Let's go through some additional options for our elements. For this example, I'll add one text element and I'll add an H1. Now, when I select it and go right click on it, you will see that I have many more options. Now, let's go with the loop. What is the loop field? For example, what if you want to duplicate this H1 10 more times? You will have to copy paste it 10 more times in order to achieve that. Now that is a lot of time consuming and you can do that in an easy way by using a loop field. I can just input a number of 10 here and you will see that I have my H1 duplicated 10 times. And you cannot see 10 H1s in a layers, but you can see this small label here, which indicates that my H1 is duplicated 10 times. I'll go through labels a bit later. Now, what if you want to edit some of this text? You can just select any of it here on the canvas. Let's select this one and you can change its text. Right now, you will notice that only this heading has been changed. Let's go through some additional options. Let's go right click again and you have option to copy this element or you have many more options for copying. For example, copy its style, copy its text, copy its classes, its attributes, copy this element as object in order to transfer it to a other project or you can copy this identifier right here. Let's go to the duplicate option as its name says, you can just duplicate this element here. Now you can convert it to component. You can clear its styles. 
text classes attributes and you can remove it and for the last part of this video i'll explain to you labels if you remember when you looped our h1 this label appeared here x10 it means that our element is looped 10 times let me add some divs and demonstrate to you some other labels i'll add three divs select this one and add one class to it for example color if you take a look here you can notice c1 label it means that this element here have one class let me add another one for example red and you will notice that this label has changed into c2 it means this element has two classes let's select this div go to the advanced panel go to the attributes option and let's add one attribute i'll hit plus here and add some random values for example test and value when you click add you will notice here that my element has gotten the label of a1 it means it contains one attribute when i select this div i can stay into the advanced panel go to the conditions options and i'll add again one random value let's go with the value i'll select my operator hit another value and when i click add the v label will be added to my element it means that my element has one visibility condition if you hover over these labels they will say to you what they represent for example it says condition visibility this a1 means it will show you all of your attributes on this element this c2 will show you all of your classes to this element and this x10 will tell you that this tag is repeated 10 times when i remove these options from my elements for example this visibility condition the b icon will disappear same will happen when i remove attributes and when i remove classes and if i set this element to be looped one as its default value for the loop the x10 will disappear this will be everything for this video and i'll see you in another one